Okay, am I at war with Kokos Town? It really seems like it. There's just there's just been so many problems. And I only plan to stay a few days. But after that ticket, I've I've had to stick around and it I've I've uh, uncovered many more problems that they have with the the locals. So it starts out, I, I get a ticket for having my car hood up, of all things. And now they're telling me I can't park at the hospital, I can't park at the community center. They're just squeezing me. I'm like, you can't quite say I, I'm getting run out of this town, but I'm definitely getting squeezed for options. Pretty soon I, I can't turn around before before they could just, you know, blatantly arrest me and throw me in jail i mean yeah it'd be it'd be it'd be interesting to be able to update my my profile pic but it's not in my best interest these whole all these episodes with the officers are not in my best interest that hospital interaction it uh the the person the people involved one of those three people filed a privacy complaint. I'm guessing it might be the female cop, okay, because she showed up really good. All right, I got a better camera. The lighting was great, and uh, she may not have liked that. And cops don't like that. Cops have a history of filing privacy complaints. And I've had uh, Josh McIntosh from the, when he used to work for the Boise County Sheriff's, he, uh, either he filed a, a privacy complaint or a troll filed on his behalf. That's the thing. That's what I have to remember. Trolls might file on their behalf too. All right. Actually, also uh, the librarian in in uh, in uh, that uh, California, the well, the the number one, the 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 most viewed video on the, this channel, that had a fi uh, privacy complaint filed but nothing happened with that so i really don't expect anything to happen with this hospital one either but they're just they're squeezing me it, it's it's really getting difficult <clears throat> so there's this this latest problem where i really i can't get in i can't go into the, the community center including the library and the whole park around it and <clears throat> my next step is is to to try to appeal to the politicians because i emailed the city manager and he, he just kind of snickered it seems is through email i'm imagining his like his his demeanor as he's writing the response is he's like i i talked to the librarians i talked to the the police you are trespassed <laughs> and i'm pretty sure he was snickering when he said that and i was like well is there any repercussion is can i can i uh file a grievance and have a a, a council that ad can address both sides of this because there's only there's two sides to the story there's not just the librarian side and he he responded and i'm like i understand that he may not be involved in this type this is a civics lesson okay this is what the library but it's also it's not just with the library it is also with the community center too which is more city council but to focus on only the library the library has a library board that i'd go before i'd or i'd bring up my grievance okay but um i went to the library's website and their only contact information is are the librarians and I emailed them, but I know they're not going to just, I asked, I emailed them and asked, what's, what's the contact information for the library board? I know they're not going to respond. I've emailed plenty of libraries in the past over, um, legal questions and they don't respond. So if you ever email a library, don't expect a response. Okay. Especially if it's, if it's something that's controversial, a controversial answer. All right. So. My next step, I think, is to to try to try to last until the city council meets on the fifth of February. I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna ask. I'm just. Uh, it's at seven thirty p.m. and I'm just gonna ask. Uh, can I can I have permission to use the community center again? And and uh, you know, I just have to see how they how they uh, respond to that. Uh, and if they say, you know, it's okay, which it seems unlikely, they're probably going to want to do a, re a research or do the council thing, the process with that. I would need a letter to every cop, 
you know, not to or do not arrest this guy because I can't just have him make a decision and say, yeah, you can go. And then the cops are like, oh, I didn't know. We arrested you anyway. We had to arrest you because we didn't know.